Tap tap here, welcome back to Search for the Four Switches. Alright. For some reason you can only go back to fortresses in Super Mario World if you hold L and R and press A, I guess. I don't think you're supposed to be able to go back to them is why. But it's the secret I'm pretty sure is in the original game. Ouch. Tap tap here, welcome back to Samuka 97's hack. And oh. Yeah, to go back to a fortress you have to hold L and R and press A. Because you're originally not supposed to be able to do that in Super Mario World. But that's the sort of code thing that lets you do it. And this fortress is actually quite a bit worse than the first one. It's well, you'll see. Most of it is like that good kind of tricky where if you really know what you're doing, which I don't, you can do it pretty reliably, but there are a few things I really don't like. These are one of them. These little... these have moving stairs on them and... yeah, you have to basically jump on them and move back to the left and jump. And, yeah. And this is actually worse than I remember it ever being. There we go. Yeah. That's more typical. Yeah, I may end up skipping this depending on how long I spend dying constantly here. I guess it would be easiest to go use a mushroom or something, but have one of those. I may just run and go get one actually though. In fact that sounds like a really good idea. I'll be right back. And here we are again, back at these jerk bags. Whoops. I guess that's where I saved. Oh, that was a wonderful place to save. Okay, go! Oh, that wasn't as smart as I thought it was. Go, go, invincibility frames! Yeah, I really don't like having to do that. Especially when it's a game that, you know, you're supposed to be able to do without save states. Oh. Neat. Yeah, if you had tried to do that jump, you would have got hit by that spike. But I learned my lesson from the spikes in the first castle. There was a similar, sort of similar trick with uh, falling spikes. Oh, and this is fun. Nope. I'm not sure if you have to duck jump, but it seems like you do. Or if you were small, I guess. Oh, no. Well, crap. No, I can't salvage it. 
Yeah, this is a neat trick, but the last one's just a bit too tricky for safe stateless. Oh, oh, come on, Mario. You're supposed to be the jumping guy. In fact, wasn't he originally called, like, Jumpman or something lame like that? I think in some original prototype or something or other. I don't actually know my video games that well before, like, mid-90s. You know, because I wasn't alive in the early 80s for Pong and all that, so... And I never had an Atari or... I never even had an original NES. Super Nintendo was my first one. Oh, come on. Now I can do this. Almost had it there. Yeah, I can't really imagine. Unless maybe it's a lot easier when you're small or something. It probably is. But... I can't imagine doing this save stateless. There we go! Finally. Do I just have to do a... There's gotta be something on that. Yeah, there we go. You gotta do a small spin jump. Samuka seems to like those. Now, if you just look at Samuka's videos and stuff, it's pretty clear he likes pretty hard hacks, so... I should have known that, but... Oh, wait, I want to keep that hit. Wait, can I keep that hit? There's a really mean thing coming up here. Ah, what the heck. Yep. You can't do a normal jump. Oh, wait. You can just barely do a normal jump if you just barely tap it. Which I'm not even sure if it's worth trying. I think you're supposed to do a small spin jump. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I learned a trick that makes that easier. It turns out if you hold jump after jumping, like even if you let go after you jump, it makes you jump further. Which, that doesn't seem like it should be the case. Because it seems like once you let go of jump, you should stop going up. But it sort of helps out. I guess if you played Mario Hacks more than I do, you should probably know that, so that jump would be easier, but... I thought it was like pure Kaizo, near impossible, and I tried like... I loaded state like 50 freaking times trying to do it my first time. But between now and then I learned that you can just... Hold B after you jump. But you don't have to hold it while you're jumping. It's sort of a neat trick, so you can do a... A longer jump without jumping as high. Because if you jumped really high on that one, you'd get killed. And this boss thing, I initially thought was extremely hard too, but you just have to hit A and B at the same time. I just didn't think to do that initially. Oh, I didn't even have to move. Brilliant. There we go! And Mini Fortress 2 is in the bag. I don't think we even get a... Oh, we do. I guess it is technically a castle, then. Because we get a little cut screen. Get. Give me the text. And there's no switch underground. That sucks. Yeah, this is supposed to be four switches, and we haven't seen a switch in quite a while, actually. Yep, it's the end of the demo. And for some reason, there's that red level. Or that thing that wants to be a level down there. I don't get what the deal is with that. I guess it's just an overworld bug. And yep, it's really the end of the demo. I don't know if Sabuka has a new version. I know he's been working on a hat called Kaizo Land, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just one of those extremely hard Mario hacks that... Sorry to say, I won't be doing it anytime soon, if, you know, ever. But he has videos of it on his channel, and there are some people that are doing Let's Plays of it, so if you want to see it, you can... I'll just leave a link to his channel, and I'm sure the info's there. Anyway, as for this hack, I really like it. I... The graphics are really nice, except I really like green, but 
Some of the levels that are very green, like this one, are actually sort of ugly. Like the the castle rocks just shouldn't be quite like that. That's the sort of nitpicky thing. And as far as the difficulty, it just seems to ramp up quite a bit. Like, I really like how it is in the beginning here and you know, for a ghost house sliding to my death, it was sort of an acceptable tricky. I still lost like a dozen lives here, but it wasn't that bad, but beyond here it got worse. Like that first fortress, I guess maybe wouldn't it be too bad if you I guess you just have to know your Mario tricks, which I really don't. But I really like the first few levels, and it just seems sort of weird that those pretty easy levels were mixed in with a bunch of really, pretty much really hard ones. It just doesn't have a very smooth difficulty curve, in my opinion. But it's not like any of the levels are bad on their own. It just seems... But yeah, I don't like the flashing in and out booze. Anyway, I'm basically rambling. I really like the hack. And I'll be glad to see what non-Kaizo stuff you make in the future. And thanks everyone for watching!